Okay guys, you know I've been saying I couldn't hardly walk. Here's one of the risks. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There is one of the risks of being diabetic. It's faded out, sorry. I've got a spot. Hey everyone, how's it going out there? It's cold here. And it snowed. I mean, it's snowy. Um, oh man, I almost stole her. Stop, I'm sorry, I'm a little draggy. Uh, this is day two of going to the doctor on my foot. And yeah, I got lucky. Damn lucky that things happened the way they did, otherwise, I could be in real trouble with my big toe on my right foot. Yeah, well, I know, I think, I don't remember, I don't know. If I have said something, don't, sorry. Anyway, uh, Sunday, I found a lump underneath the toe that was sore, very sore. That was Sunday morning by Sunday afternoon, about 5, 5.30, I couldn't take it no more. I'm like, if it's a diabetic sore, what I gotta take the pressure off. So I squeezed it. Infection came out. Squeezed it again. Something black started coming out, and I'm like, "What is that?" And I it happened to slip with my thumb, and I hit that, and I'm like, "Whoa, that's in there!" Uh, and I pulled it out. Here it was about a quarter inch long piece of steel. Actually, I think it's all in the. I've done that in a video. Or otherwise, that's what I was working on last night. Yeah, okay, that's right. I'm going to have to edit that up. So, <laughs> I'm just... I couldn't go to sleep last night. Uh, Roger, he uh, had that laptop, and I told him what happened. Thought I had it fixed. Then it crashed. Then it crashed again. And I says, do you want to fix it? He says, no, I'm not spending no money on that computer. I said, do you care if I keep it? Nope. He says, you can have it. Well, yesterday I had to take him to work because Roger doesn't do too good on slick ropes. He usually ends up in the ditch. So I took him to work. Uh, that was part of my reason for being up at 5 a.m. yesterday. Uh, so I took him to work, come back home, and went to the doctor. Had the doctor uh, end up cutting on that, uh, oh, okay, just wake it up. Ended up cutting on that, and the reason she cut on that, she says, well, you may have got the sliver out, that sliver and the infection out Sunday. Well, from Sunday night at 5, 5.30 to 10 o'clock Monday morning, the I mean, this thing has it's been in my foot so long that it turned the metal black and it had its own callus and the callus had already started to move into the hole left behind from that sliver. So she cut that stuff back and that's where we're heading now is to the doctor again because uh, she wants to make sure it's healing from the inside out and not going outside in because she says the vents are going in outside in she says you're going to be in major trouble and she says we don't want to get in staph infection and otherwise you are going to be I said I know I've been worried I've been this has actually scared the crap out of me I mean uh, yeah so we're going over right now to make sure that's done and then uh I told her, I said, it's kind of funny now that that sliver's out of my foot. I says, I've still got the back pain, but I can walk a little bit better. But then again, I've been sitting down doing nothing for two to three days now. Uh, I haven't been lifting, I haven't been moving. And I told her what I've been doing. And she says, you need to slow it down before you overdo things and have more complications. Said, well, that's 
it's easier said than done. I just I got stuff to do and that's uh yeah. Anyway, uh yeah, so that's what's going on. If anybody's noticed something that Facebook and that the postings about infections and uh, my toe and that that's what it was because she says she goes I have Evidently, she said that sliver didn't go straight in either, so now that really makes me wonder where I got it from. Because when it came out, it came straight out. She said, no, according to the hole it's left behind, it was in there at a funny angle. Really? So I don't know if uh, when I was working this last summer, if I got a metal filing down in my shoe, or what, I wish I had a microscope to look at this, because I, I know I had some welding sparks go down in my shoe and burn me. So I don't know if uh, maybe it was one of those that ran through my shoe and I just didn't know it. Well, it's, you know, fell my feet. And... <sighs> because and I've been advised by three people to not do not ever go without shoes again, even in the house, because they said you, you, your feet aren't sensitive like they're supposed to be. And she says, you're in the predicament where you could uh, end up with a sewing needle in your foot and you won't know it. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Well, my body's kicking my ass, telling me to slow it down. She goes, well, listen to it. <laughs> so, uh, wife's off today, and I got a few things I got to do. And uh, <laughs> when I come downstairs, she's like, what are you, what are you is? And I, I said, you all right with me? She says, where are you going? <laughs> I said, I got to be back to the doctor's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I want to go get this done. And... Uh, Neighbors got a hold of me on Facebook because the phone's off. And uh, uh, he says, uh, You're all dug out. So I guess uh, I was going to, if he hadn't done that, I was going to set up the cameras and uh, try plowing through that snow dirt, but he got removed, which is okay. So now it gets swirl out there. He says, There's some. He says, Good, print, good snow pile for her to play on. So, you know, if I'm feeling good, maybe I'll go out there and get her and we'll try playing King of the Hill. But I'll just use snowballs or something to knock her down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, finally got to look at the daughter's car in person. I think most of everything, uh, the hood's okay, but the plastic nose I just put on that car when we rebuilt it, and I'm questioning the headlight because uh, there's uh, bolts punched, almost punched through the fender from the guy hitting. Uh, yeah, got looking at the plastic last night, and it did. It doesn't show. When you first look at it, it looks like, okay, that'll pop out maybe. And I got looking at it more, and there is hairlines, cracks down the whole side of that plastic on the nose. So, so I was going to need a new plastic nose, new driver's side fender, and a fender plastic. Um, what else? Right there is the plastic in that fender, right at $600, and that's no paint, and I know, really, I'm coming at you, and that's no paint and labor of taking that stuff off and on. That's and then that headlight assembly. If it is broke, that's uh, like 200 bucks for a new one. So 
say, yeah, we got seven, eight hundred dollars just alone in parts. And no paint and labor yet, so. And I'll wait for the field adjuster to get a hold of us. Because the agent has already talked to my daughter and says, well, have you been contacted yet? No. Well, got the email Saturday that this happened and uh, nobody's contacted, so. <sighs> but they say they're going to fix it. So I said it's not going to be that by any, uh, in the, any shop in the hole, hole in the, sh the hole in the wall shop either. And this is how we're going to. I want you to get, I want it to be fixed right because the car's too nice yet to be cobbled up. So, but yeah, the hood gap is uh, opened way up at the front, closed up at the center, and almost where it's supposed to be at the back of the fender. So there, something's, I don't know. It just says steering wheel still straight and ain't off and dry shine, so maybe again it just might be sheet metal damage on that car, but so yeah, if it does have to be frame pulling, I, I bet you it's gonna be all of twenty five hundred dollars damage, if not more. Shop rates and that, I mean <coughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbing word to the doctor and something else and anything else something else interesting comes up we'll be back well that didn't go as planned uh, I am now en route to the hospital to have my foot x-ray to see if there's more metal in there before she cuts around on it uh, she says it's gotten hard she squeezed on it and it's like oh. I said oh, it feels like there's something in there yet so she's like yeah before I do any more to it we're going to get an x-ray to see what the hell's in there because she says it's first she's like oh it's healing then she touched it and I about went out of the chair and she goes that's not good and she says it looks like it's infected yet so I guess go get an x-ray See what the hell's going on, so wonderful. Not what I had planned on doing today, so all right. Yeah. Ain't that freaking wonderful. I'm gonna go the other way. Well 1251. This all started out at 10 o'clock and I'm now just finally getting to go home. Uh sitting there waiting to be called and then the gal comes up now you need to go to the outpatient uh, wow I just got two heavy doses of uh I don't two large uh, god I can't even speak a large dose of penicillin and I get to have it again Tomorrow, plus see a specialist with my foot. I said, well, what's going on? Uh, uh, they think you got an infection. Bad one. I'm like, ah, oh, great. I've been saying I haven't been feeling good. Well, we're gonna go home, check out that computer, make sure it was, I wasn't dreaming when I went to bed this morning. And I did get it fixed, sorry about that, excuse me. So yeah, I'm not the one to end up with surgery on my toe yet, or what the hell? I just, I had a few things I needed to go do today, but I think I'm just gonna go home, sit my ass down and, do nothing so 
Right now I can't get my left eye open. But, uh, I just feel like hell now. So, Alright, well guys, probably not going to be much else. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for the prayers and everything. Oh, man. All right.